Hello, this is Kenneth from tech to you uh, Just uh, showing you a couple basic functions of the Sprint Evo. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. All right, um, there's many different ways you can customize the uh, Sprint Evo. Uh, as you start playing around with the widgets, which are uh, like the clock here and the applications, which are more of like these little smaller icons, uh, you can customize the best way to fit your needs. Um, one of the basic things uh, that uh, some people don't know is just uh, how to even uh, add a contact. Uh, basically, all you would do is hit the phone button here, followed by the menu button here, and then there'll be an icon that says people, and then you'd add a contact. But in order to... Um, secure my telephone numbers I'll just let you go through those steps all right um if you ever want to set up a group meaning like if you want to set send like a mass email or a mass text message when you do get to the area of adding a contact there'll be some icons towards the bottom uh, one the, the two of them will look like index cards um, the second index card is the one for groups and basically once you hit the button at the top that says add groups you can then go through um, the list of people you have in saved in contacts already add them to a group and then when you send a email or a mass text when you would normally put their name in the send to area you would actually just hit the uh, little icon that looks like a person and choose groups and when you hit groups you can choose whatever name the group is named if it's family if it's friends or whatever and then the email or text will go to that group automatically without you putting each person in there so it's actually a pretty cool function again to get to that contacts and groups area you're going to hit the phone button followed by the menu button and then you'll be at the uh at the screen to either add a add a person or add a group all right um, another quick thing that uh, we can kind of lose sight of with all the functions that the evil does is just searching for a person sometimes you're looking for a telephone number and it's kind of difficult to go through a list of what people have you know 200 plus numbers uh, if you use this icon here called search people um, let's see here search people and you can put you can either put that as a as an application on one of your uh, um, slides as I have done or you can just keep it in your uh, all apps area and then search for it there um, but that's a really cool app to quickly look up someone's telephone number especially if it's someone you don't call very often um, I'm just going to take you through just the, a couple of simple ways uh, that I've chosen to set up my widgets and applications. As I, as, I, as you see, the time is here. Um, I'm going to bring this up here. Um, and you can see that it's keeping track of uh, the memory on the device itself. Sorry about that. Um, the uh, temperature, uh, the memory on my uh, mini disk card, and my battery life that remains. Um, I just have some water uh, background moving back there. So nothing real big or fancy uh, for this particular slide. So um, I'm going to show you some of the other slides. Um, this one will have your favorites in it, uh, the people that you quickly call or that are in groups. Um, here's some other little icons that I use. I mainly keep this one as like my gaming uh, slide. Um, you know, or entertainment, um, past the time. This slide I use for all my settings. So I got the uh, Android market there. Um, lookout, you know, battery, life, uh, app to SD, which is there um, to move apps to your um, SD card, settings, speed test, uh, different uh, things of that nature as far as settings. Um, back the other way. I've got my uh, Twitter account here uh, when I, that I keep track of uh, and add to uh, on Twitter. And uh, this one is my Facebook and some calendars. Uh, this one I keep for my Sprint TV, uh, YouTube, 
and uh, other media type devices. All right. Um, I can go here, and this is another uh, widget that you can just add some different applications to. And I'll give you an idea of what some video looks like on here. Those are my different players, different videos. Uh, sometimes don't play on some other players, so I've got different ones. So when I try to play something, um, it'll be quick and easy to get to. So it's pretty good there. Comes in HD quality. Um, you can also play these videos like through an HD television. Um, with a with a cord that did not come with the device, but uh, I found one at Radio Shack. Um, it's a mini HD cable to your regular size HD end. So one is a mini end that goes into the telephone. The other one is your standard HD end that goes into the back of your television. Um, then we can hit home. And um, I got some other media here. Got another one of these buttons and uh, pulls up some apps just to save room. And you can hear it. Comes through pretty clear. And then you can play it in the background. And if you want to cut it off, you just slide the screen down. And uh, then that way, that's how you cut it off. Um, there's other things like scenes. Uh, the the way that you change the uh, backgrounds can be saved. Uh, by names within the scenes area um, and in that way if you have a different mood you want your phone to look different immediately you can change it by changing the scene so this is actually a different scene but as you'll see there are similar setups um, this is a little more busier of kind of hidden uh, icons uh, in and around um, the two photos here uh, I've got my uh, battery life icon up here it's a little different than the other one I had I've chosen to put my time smaller here and different icons in this general area but mainly what I like to have on that home screen that that main middle middle screen if you if you see this little dash above the the phone button that tells you that you're in the middle page which is the home screen so anytime you hit the home screen it's gonna come to this middle uh, slide here because if you see if I slide that way it moves that way um, but I usually keep the camera camcorder on there because you want to get to that stuff quick and easy. All right. So you'll see I have similar setups here. Um, different calendars. I changed some things a little bit. Um, my settings are there on the last uh, or first to the first uh, slide all the way on the left. Um, as I go through uh, again, there's my Twitter. There's uh, some of my media, my Facebook, Google search, and some web browsers. Here is some more of my media uh, that I did not have in my other widget. And your songs basically stay. So therefore, wh wherever that song was saved at on any widget is going to be set at the same spot when you do change your widget. Um, or excuse me, change your scene. So... This is just some basics of the Evo 4G. Uh, this phone does much, much more than what I, I've explained here, but just wanted to get a basic one out there. If you do have questions on some other things that you know I didn't cover in this video, feel free to let me know. Uh, feel free to subscribe here. Um, also, you can visit www.tech2u.com uh, for any other questions about technology and gadgets and things of that nature. Thanks for listening. This is Kenneth from Tech2U. Goodbye.